Let's proceed with example A, sign 135 degree. Angle 135 degree is positive. So, it measure is anti-clockwise from positive at exit. 135 degree is at second quadrant. Okay. Anti-clockwise for theta equal 135 degree. So, this angle is, we call it basic angle for alpha. Now, we can find the value, the angle for alpha. So, alpha is equals to 180 degree minus 135 degree. So, we can get 45 degree. Okay. Sign 135 degree is equals to Alpha is at second quadrant. So, for the second quadrant, sign 45 degree. Okay. Okay. So, for sign 45 degree, this answer is 1 over set 2. Example B. Sign negative 330 degree. Okay. This sign or this angle is negative. So, it measure is clockwise from positive at axis. Okay. 330 degree is at first quadrant. Okay, measure is clockwise with theta equal 330 degree. Okay, for First quadrant, okay, for first quadrant, sine, cos and tangent is always positive. So, to find the basic angle, okay, this is basic angle alpha. Alpha is equals to 360 degree minus 330 degree. So, the answer is 30, 30 degree. Sign negative 330 degree is equals to sign 30 degree. Okay. The answer for sine 30 degree is 1 over 1 over 2. Example C, tangent 4 pi over 3. Okay, we can change 4 pi over 3 equals to tangent 240 degree. Okay, so 
angle 240 degree is positive. Okay. And this angle is at third quadrant. Okay. So, it measure is anti-clockwise. Okay. Theta is 240 degree. Okay. Okay. Now, we can find basic angle for alpha. So, to find the alpha is equals to 240 minus 180. We can get 60 degree. Okay. So, to find the final answer for tangent for pi over 3 is equals to tangent 60 degree because third quadrant tangent is positive okay so tangent 60 degree equals to set 3 example d cos negative 225 degree okay this theta is negative so it measure is clockwise from positive at axis okay clockwise Two to five at second quadrant. Okay. Theta is two hundred and twenty five degree. Okay. Now we can find basic angle for alpha. Okay. To find Alpha is 225 degree minus 180 degree. So we can get 45 degree. Okay. So to find final answer for cos negative 225 degree equals to cos 45 degree. Okay. For second quadrant, okay, for second quadrant, sign is positive. Remember, only sign is positive. So, for cos must be negative. Okay. So, final answer negative cos 45 degree is equals to negative 1 over set 2.